Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So look who just arrived. This really cool teddy bear. So he's vintage and he was made sometime between 1945 and 1952. He is a Gottfried Kraber teddy bear, which was known as Gokra or Gokra, G-O-K-R-A. And this company was only in business from 1945 to 1952. So this uh, bear is pretty rare um, and collectible since the business was only in, um, in existence for seven years. So he's really cool. And um, he's actually not made out of mohair. He's made out of artificial silk plush and also known as velvet velour. So um, his coat looks almost like a velveteen um, or an artificial like silky type of material. He has plastic eyes and he has a threaded mouth and uh, he's a little floppy. His head uh, leans downwards as his stuffing has settled over the years. And um, so like, you know, I could, I could probably restuff him, but I really don't want to take apart the old stitches and mess with it. Um, he's really cool. He has, um, a growler inside his tummy and, um, he, when, when, actually when I tilt him, I'll let you hear him. So what, listen to the sound. It sounds like a very weak meow. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It sounds like a little weak meow. He's fully jointed and I really don't like moving his arms and his head and his legs because the material is actually very weak and brittle and uh, since it's uh, sparsely uh, stuffed because the uh, straw stuffing has settled into the rest of his body I don't really want to move his uh, joints that much because the uh, it'll put pressure on the fabric and then the fabric might tear or rip or disintegrate because this uh, material was actually very thin and it wasn't um, strong like mohair and uh, what's really neat about him is he has cardboard in the bottoms of his feet I don't know if you can see that. And there's also an old reminiscence of a stamp that was on the bottom of his feet with the logo for Gakra and Gottfried Kraber and Company. And uh, so he was, uh, when he was first made, he could stand up on his own because of the cardboard, ca cardboard inserts in the bottoms of his paw pads. He has little threaded claws. Um, he has uh, linen material, some kind of linen material on the paw pads and on his feet. And, uh, yeah, so he's still, he's still going strong, this little bear. I mean, what's really cool about these bears is that they're still around. Um, although they were much loved, as you can see, this guy was very, very loved. He has a little dirt on him and dust and a little bit, um, of pilling on the material. Now, um, artificial silk does not wear well. It always looks, uh, very, very, um, worn and, raggy and even when uh, children first got these bears they looked very raggy after a day or two of having this type of material um for their bear and so um yeah so i thought i'd share them with you show you a rare teddy bear that was only in production for seven years now they had all different designs this isn't the only type of design and uh but he's german and so this company um had a factory in germany and so this old German bear is quite lovely as you can see. So thanks for watching and stay tuned in because I'm going to be uploading more videos soon showing you vintage and antique toys and antiques in general. Thanks for watching.